Today we will implement a log parser using Nafi mode and plain Ruby. Well, that is XFO aspect to help with testing. While this will be a simple parser, I'm going to build it in such a way that it's going to be easy to extend to handle different types of input and formatting. So even if you're not interested in making a parser, this should still help you improve your code. I have created this example log file and we want to create a parser that will retrieve the most common pages visited and maybe even show the uniques. Before jumping into this, however, it's important to have a clear understanding of what this entire process entails. So what do we need to do? First of all, open the file in bit mode, then split the file into lines, break each line into parts, path and IP, Group the data we broken down earlier so we can count the uniques. Format the group data, basically print things on the screen. And create an executable that will call the above code. So this step will basically provide the path to a log file and it will output the logs summary. I'm going to start things by creating a gem. And I'll use the bundle gem command for this. And I need to provide the name of our library called log parser. And I will also provide the minus minus xc flag that says it should create an executable that will use it to read logs later down the line. And there's also the minus t aspect flag that says it should add aspect as a development dependency. So this has run successfully. However, there is one slight problem. Now, if we run bundle, we'll see these errors. And they occur because there's this to do inside all sorts of uh, descriptions. So these need to either be changed or removed completely. So I'm going to jump to the gem spec. And here we can remove these to do's. And there's one exception however and that's the summary if I'll delete it we'll get an error so I'm just going to add one maybe simple log parser and I actually removed home page earlier so maybe it's just quicker to just remove this field as well now if we go to the console and run bundle again we'll see that the command ran successfully before writing any code, I just want to make sure aspect is fine, which is not because it has created some uh, dummy assertions for us. And it's this one, false equals true, that fails. So I'm just going to delete it. And if we run things again, everything is green. Cool, so now we can actually write some code within the lib slash log parser folder. I'm going to create a class called file reader. We'll instantiate this class with the path of the file we want to read. Initialize. And this class will return an array with all the lines the file had. For now, these methods are left blank because we want to test the implementation and see it fail first. So within the spec folder, I'm going to create a file with a spec. File with a spec dot rb. Now, before proceeding, we need a fixture, a sample log file to test against. All right, so inside the spec folder, I'm going to create another folder called fixtures. And here I'm going to create a sample log called lines.log. And the reason I called it this way is because we don't really care about the contents of the lines themselves, as we just test things in isolation. And looking at the line endings, we can see we truly have three lines here. I'm mentioning this because many text editors add one extra line at the end. So do keep that in mind if you're having problems with 
this unexplicable line that you don't know where it's coming from. Okay, so I'm going to jump back to our spec file. And here I'm going to store the path inside the aspect let block. Uh, so this is basically the path of our log I just created earlier. And then I'm going to make another let block with uh, an instance of our uh, file reader class. Describe class dot new and our path. So basically describe class is just an alias for log parser file reader. Anyway, now let's actually test the lines method. So describe lines. So I'm going to create a subject and this is basically the output of our lines method. So that is reader.lines and the expected result, let's name it let expected lines should be the array that we expect to receive. So that would be line one, line two and line three. And our actual assertion should be it is expected to expected to equal expected lines. So now if we jump to the terminal and run the specs again, we actually see that uh, it can't find the file reader class. So this is because I forgot to include it. I'm going to go to the log parser file. And here, in addition to version, I'm going to require the file reader um, file I created earlier. And if we run the specs again, we see a different error. That is the method returns, uh, returns nil because we haven't wrote any implementation yet. So let's do that now. I'm going to open up the file reader class. And here to begin with, we're going to store the path inside an instance variable. And using this instance variable, we're going to open up the file and we're going to open it in read mode using the R flag. To get each line, I'm going to call the dot each method and to map it on array dot map. Bear in mind that lines look something like this. For example, line two and then with the new line character. Or if you're on Windows, I think it's backslash R backslash N. Nevertheless, to get rid of this, you can use dot chomp and the output would be just line two in this case. So consider that map takes a block, we could just do, do line and then line.chomp. And we can even write this shorter using symbol to proc as follows. Now bear in mind that this is inefficient, but we'll get to it a bit later and optimize it. So let's try things out. I'm going to run the specs again and everything passes. Now let's also test for the scenario when the file couldn't be found. And to do so, I'm going to create a context called with invalid path. And as the name implies, I will override the path let block with something that does not exist called missing log. However, I can't use the short expectation syntax because I'm looking for an error and as such, I need to provide the description. It raises error should be good enough. And here I'll do expect subject to raise error. I really don't like subject though. I want something a bit more descriptive. However, I can rename it. Now I can just do expect lines to raise error. However, raise error catches any type of error and that's not really a good practice. And as such, I'm going to provide it a specific type called log parser error. 
Now, I don't really need to define this type. This actually exists already. It's in the log parser file, which you can see it here. And as such, if I run the specs again, we will see an error. And this is of this type, which I can't really pronounce. Nevertheless, we now need to uh, find that error and rephrase it again in our own type. So to fix this, I'll open the file video class. And here I will rescue that specific type of error and basically rephrase it of our own kind block parser error and e dot message. However, I don't really like this. I feel like this method actually does too much. I know it's just one line, but still. So I'm actually going to create a new private method called handle because this will just return a file handle. So I'll just copy this and also the rescue block. All right, so now if we try things again, it will work. However, I just want to do one more thing, and that is I'd like to also handle errors when the file could not be accessed, which is e access, I believe. All right. And to be clear, access just means file permissions. And the thing with these is that they're different from one operating system to the other. And I want to keep this video simple, and that's why I'm not going to add any specs for it. With file reading out of the way, it's time to handle the line contents. And if we look at a given line, we can see that it's made of two components, that is the path and the IP. So what I'd like to do next is to create an abstraction to store this information. And as such, I'm going to create a file and name it entry.rb. However, I'm not going to define a class the usual way. I'm actually going to use a struct. And this takes two fields, the path and the IP. And I do want to name it and I'll do it as such. Now to use it, you basically do something like this, x equals entry.new. And I'll just provide it, for example, about us, the first path and an IP. 111 because it's so easy to type and to read the values we just do x dot path for example and this should just return about us and x dot ip basically is the 111 ip i uh, i have been put earlier anyway because i have created a new file i do need to require it in uh, the log parser file otherwise we get a file not found earlier like we did with the file reader earlier next i want to break down the lines into this new entry format this process is usually referred to as tokenization and as such i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to name it tokenizer We're going to instantiate this class with the lines from the file reader and convert them into our new entry format. So I'm going to leave these blank for now so we can test them first. But before doing that, I do need to include this file to require it more exactly. So this should be log parser tokenizer. And the spec is quite straightforward. I'm going to jump to the spec folder and here I'm going to create a new file called tokenizer spec.rb. And first of all, I'll make an instance of our tokenizer class inside an aspect let block. And here I'm going to use the describe class helper we've seen earlier. And this needs to be instantiated with a list of lines which I'll also define in an aspect let block 
and this list the way basically I'm actually going to populate by copying some lines from uh, the log so I'm going to copy just one more maybe this one and now we need to test our entries method so the subject is the output of this method and this is tokenizer dot entries the expectation let's name this expected entries should be an array quite similar to the above lines having two elements but these are not strings these are an instance of our entry class However, I don't think I can do entry here directly. I think I do need to use the log parser module. Parser. And this takes two arguments. And that is the path. The first one is about us. And the IP, which I will copy. And let's do the same for the next line. So the path is features and I will copy the IP. And because I've used the subject and can use the short expectation syntax, which is it is expected to equal and that's uh, expected entries. And let's run this. It fails because we haven't wrote the implementation yet. So let's do that. I'll jump to the tokenizer class. So first of all, let's store the initialized lines values in an instance variable. And then we need to iterate over these lines, but I'm not going to use each. I'm actually going to use map. And then we need to fetch the path and IP. And if we look at the line again, we can see that these are separated by a space. And as such, to get these values, I can just do line.split and to map them to the path and IP. Individually, I could do path, comma, IP equals this, and then just do entry.new path and IP. But I could write this even simpler by doing by using the splat operator and let's try things again and it works 